Hello everyone, we have another PSA review today. This is the, my TC, TCG order. Just came off uh, fresh from the uh, FedEx truck about 15 minutes ago. Uh, 20 cards, $15 a card. Um, some Dragon Ball, some Magic as you can see on top there. Uh, some Pokemon. One Star Wars card, nothing huge. Uh, does have one of the uh, rare chase card from Pokemon, as you'll see in a bit. Uh, let's get into it. Let's move this to here. Magic. Uh, this is the Blight Dragon. Came back a nine. Uh, Mythic. No border, borderless, not foil. Bummer that it got a nine. I'm not sure why it got a nine. I look this card over very, very meticulously before I send them in. If there's one tiny bit of whiting, I would not send them in. Uh, just because magic cards are super hard to gray. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell uh, what's wrong with it. So that's a nine. Uh, I'm make two piles right here. Uh, this is the one Star Wars card I sent in. This is the Darth the Maul. Um, this is the purple wave refractor at a ten. Very nice and clean card. Not super valuable, but cool card. Another magic. This is the Elf Stone. I was hoping this would get a 10. But now looking at it, it is a little bit OC from left to right. A little bit. Not too much. Other than that, it looks super clean to me as well. No whiting on any corners. Whoa, why is this? I see. I see that little dot. Why are there? Which I'm pretty sure that wasn't there. Like I said, if there are any whiting or a tiny bit of a whiting on any edges, corners, I would have not sent it in. Like I said, Magic cards are super, super tough to gray. And this is the one card that I, out of three card that I wanted the 10 on it. But, oh man. Dragon Ball, this is, uh, I have six Dragon Ball cards. They are all from the BT21 series. This is the Sun Goku and Piccolo SPR. I didn't pull any of the SCR or DGR. DGR, don't even talk about it. So, yeah, sorry for the noise. But, uh, 10. Another. Uh, Dragon Ball. This is the Sun Goku and SS2 Sun Gohan, Father and Son Solidity. Solid solidarity. This is just an SR. I have an SPR this coming up. Um, last magic card here. This one did get a 10. And I guess the center is okay. Uh, I guess that one that had a nick, that's why I got a nine. But I'm almost certain that that did not goes to PSA like that. Man, but 
Pokemon. Let's see, what is this? Yeah, this was the uh, this is an uh, illustration rare Max Caliber Mint Nine. I don't know what is wrong with this card. Uh, the centering looks good. Back centering looks decent. I don't see any widening on any corners. Unless you count that. Other than that, yeah, Pokemon are, are tough to gray. That's it. That's for sure. Especially the uh, the U.S. versions. Another Pokemon. So this is the uh, biggest card in the order. I'm talking about this one did get a 10, which is I'm super excited for this one. This is the rare chase in the Powdea Evolve set. And it did come back a 10. Alright, let's uh put this up here for another Pokemon. I don't know why I sent these in. Just thought it was a cool card. 10. I mean, it's a clean card. And, you know, if it's clean, great. So I had three of these. Gardevoir EX. It's a pretty cool card. I like the image. 10. I had three of those. Uh, they all look clean to me, so I sent them all in. Now 10. This one is a Brilliant Star Secret. Rare Secret. Motre. Galarian Motre. 10. Super cool card, but not, you know, not, not expensive at all. So I opened a box of Metazoo Cryptid Nation 2nd Edition and I recently dabbled with Metazoo stuff and this was the best card out of the whole box for grading. So I thought I, I give it a test and see how I do with, you know, with looking at this card. And it came back at 10. So this is the Mothman Reverse Hollow. Uh, not super expensive car, like I said. But this car, um, so I'm using this as a base moving forward for grading MetaZoo card. If I decide to, to dabble more. I do have a, a box, a sealed box, booster box of uh, second edition Cryptid Nation. And I'll be cracking that soon. So, yeah. I, I'm thinking it's like $50 card now. Uh, it seems like the last few sales are uh, hitting that price mark now. Another Pokemon card. Crown Scenic. Enter V. I like this card. Too bad it came back at 9. Can't tell why it came back at 9. Honestly, as like I said, I, I I didn't see any whiting. Why is that? There's a speckle of dust. Who knows? Maybe down the road I'll I'll crack it and resend, resub. But for now, any of the Pokemon card is it's not going anywhere. It's it's for my kids. Uh, Staying in the collection. <laughs> Back to Dragon Ball. So this is the SPR version of the uh, Sun Goku and Sun Gohan. SPR version, PSA 10. Another Dragon Ball. 
Golden Frieza, Frieza Evolve Emperor, SPR. Thought it looked cool. Look at all this gold. Crazy, right? Not worth much. Uh, back to Pokemon. This one got a 10. I was hoping this one would get a 10. I'd rather just get this a 10 on this one, but... Oh, well. Back to Dragon Ball. SPR, 10. Another Dragon Ball. Cell, SPR. Cool card. Uh, man, uh, look at all this gold. And last card, Pokemon. I like this card. Uh, 10. So... Two of my favorite Pokemon cards out of this order. They both got tens. So there you go, just a quick video. And I have two more orders that just you know sitting at PSA. One order for two cards and another TCG order. Um I don't even know when I'm getting back. This order took roughly 65 70 days to get back to me so yeah we'll see we'll see what happened thank you for watching see you next time peace out